Hey there everyone and welcome back to the Disconnected. Today we're going to be talking about this massive pile of steelbooks here and we're going to do a guide on the Mondo X steelbook line. It is one of my favorite lines to collect from and I think it's probably the line with the best art out there. So let's get into it. So unfortunately, the vast majority of these Mondo X steelbooks are either going to be out of print and nearly impossible to find unless you're looking on the secondhand market, or you're going to have to import them and they're going to be films that you probably already got a release for anyways, let's be honest. However, I think a lot of these are worth seeking out simply for the artwork alone. Throughout this guide, I'm going to be showing you the art on the steelbooks, the release date that it was originally sold, where it was originally sold, and then maybe discuss some ideas on finding this on the second hand market. Okay, so let's start with the outlier. This is a Mondo steelbook, but it is technically not a Mondo X steelbook. This does feature Mondo art, and this is the True Detective Season 1 steelbook. You can see what the spine looks like there, and on this side, here's the back when we take off the sleeve. You can see the entire thing is covered with that design. And this is different because it is not a part of the Mondo X Steelbook, and we will talk about what makes up each one of those in just a moment. But this one was released in the U.S. as a Target exclusive on June 2nd, 2015. So let's discuss what makes up a Mondo X Steelbook. First of all, you can see that it's using the common branding here and uh, up in the corner. And then this is what the spine looks like. It has the number here on the top. It's got the steelbook branding on the bottom. Here is the other spine blank, and here is the back. These all have a clear plastic protective sleeve that you pull off, and below that, what you will see is uh, Mondo art that has been used before for like art prints, posters, uh, perhaps some other things, but for the most part, it is art that you, uh, you can probably recognize that they've used previously. So this is, although it's the first one, this is actually number zero. This is one that they released, and it is a Future Shop exclusive in Canada. Uh, this is basically the Canadian Best Buy. It went to Best Buy in Canada for a little while, but this was released on December 2nd, 2014. So this has been out of print and gone for quite some time at this point. Mondo X Steelbook number one. This is also a Future Shop exclusive. Here is the sleeve on this one. Put that down. You can see what it looks like on the spine. There is number one and the back. This is Looper. And this was released on February 24th of 2015. And the cool thing about this is we actually got a variant release that I'll show you now. There are two different colors that were released in Future Shop. And both of those can be found on the secondhand market as of this point. And Mondo X Steelbook number two, this was also a Future Shop exclusive in Canada. This one also received a variant pressing. There is the number two. There's the back of the slip. And there's some of the more recognizable art for Boyhood from Mondo. And the colorway on this is really good. I'm going to try to get some of that uh, reflective colors in there so that you can see how much work actually goes into these. The back has a lot of it too. All the eyes reflecting there. Really neat. Looks really nice in the hand. Uh, so this one was released on January 6th, 2015. And oddly enough, even though it's number two, it came out before number one, Looper. Number three in the Mondo X Steelbook line is Rambo First Blood. This was released as a Future Shop exclusive on March 24th, 2015, there is the number three, and the back, when you remove the sleeve, this is what is on the back, and the front, you can see the colors there, reflecting again, just really good, really recognizable art from Mondo. And number four is Pan's Labyrinth, another Future Shop exclusive, as you can see by the branding there. 
Here is the spine with number four, taking off the protective sleeve, and you have the Mondo art on the front. And this, uh, it, it's got a little texture to it, as you can see in the reflection there. It's an interesting one. And then on the back, also has a little bit of texture, as you can see. And if you can, you can hear a little bit of the texture that this has. Uh, this is a, a really nice release overall. It feels great in the hand, looks nice, colors are great. This one was released on May 19th of 2015. All right, Mondo X Steelbook number five. This is Dread. This says only at Best Buy, but this is also a uh, Future Shop exclusive. So it was released at Future Shop and Best Buy. Uh, this is number five. You can see it's got the uh, French and the uh, English on the back because it was a Future Shop and Best Buy exclusive. And removing the uh, slip here, you can see they're using some of the art to accent the front now on this sleeve. Here's what the inside art of the steelbook looks like. Just a really solid release. Nice steelbook in general. May 26th, 2015. All right, Mondo X Steelbook number six. This is Flash Gordon. And this is a USA Target.com exclusive release. There's the number six, Flash Gordon. Here's the back. And taking off the sleeve, you can see what the inside art looks like. Some of the reflections and color there. Just really nicely done. Flash Gordon. This was released on July 28th, 2015. All right, just like number six, this is number seven, Shaun of the Dead. This was also a Target.com exclusive in the US, and this was also released on July 28th of 2015. Removing the outer slip, you see this really nice artwork on the inside and a really reflective on this one. Shaun of the Dead also has gotten many releases, so a lot of people just never picked this up. And this was actually available for quite some time at places like Hamilton Book. Um, this one is still on the cheap end when you were looking to collect all these, but it's really nice. I, I actually really enjoyed this one. Number eight. This one is a little hard to find. This is The Thing. Uh, this is John Carpenter's The Thing, obviously. Spine number eight from Mondo X, and this is a beauty. This was also released as a Target.com exclusive in the U.S. on July 28th, 2015. And removing the sleeve, you can see once again, they did accent some of the art on this. But this is what the steelbook looks like. And man, this one is nice. This one is also very difficult to find nowadays. This one consistently goes for like around $100 on a second hand. Mondo X Steelbook number 9. This is Terminator 2 Judgment Day. This was a Canadian Best Buy exclusive. There's the number 9. And this one also had a variant, just like some of the previous ones. This was released on June 30th, 2015. Removing a slip, no real accents there. Uh, but you can see on the inside, this one is also just really nicely made. And uh, just really great artwork. Mondo is always dependable for that. Mondo X Steelbook number 10. This is another one that's kind of hard to find. This is a Canadian Best Buy exclusive. This was released on July 14th, 2015. Here's the front. You can see maybe in silver there. That is number 10, Ex Machina. There's the side and the back. Taking this off, you can see quite a lot of this one was used to accent the actual design of the steelbook on the front. Here's what it looks like as the steelbook. When you tilt it, the face on the inside there is very reflective. Uh, this is this is another one that goes for quite a bit of money on the secondhand market. It is a beautiful design, really nice in the hand. Love this movie, and I'm so glad that they released this. Number 11 is a Total Recall, and uh, the steelbook is not banged up. It's just the cover there. This is one that I've pulled out and watched a couple times. Number 11, Total Recall. This was also a Canadian Best Buy exclusive. This was released on October 20th, 2015. And taking off the slip here, you can see not a whole lot of design additions there, but the inside 
It's pretty nice. I uh, got some fingerprints on it. Got a little bit of a dent here in the front. That's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect for me. Uh, yeah, this is a, a rather uh, tame one compared to some of the other steelbooks, but it's still a wonderful release. Number 12, this is one of my favorites in the collection. This is Jake Gyllenhaal's Nightcrawler. This one was also a Canadian Best Buy exclusive, released on October 27th, 2015. There's the number 12. Here is the back of the slip. Pulling the slip off, you can see the entire crack and screen and everything on the front was perfectly executed on this release. Uh, really accentuates this art on the inside, which shows Jake Gyllenhaal and the map that he's following. This is just an incredible design. I absolutely love this movie too, which made it all that much better. Uh, this is this is one of the ones to own from this entire collection, if I can say so myself. It's beautiful. Next is another one of the more common designs. This is Reservoir Dogs number 13. This was a UK Zavi and USA Target exclusive release, and they were released on December 1st, 2015. There's the number 13 on the spine. And taking off the slip on this one, you can see nothing really added on the front. The character outline on the back. But here is our wonderful colors on the inside. This is just a very classic uh, Mondo type design. Very similar artwork to a lot of other stuff that they've done. But, uh, I mean, this is, this is iconic. It's a wonderful release. Really great looking steelbook. This is one that you can still find fairly inexpensive on the secondhand market. Really nice release. Number 14 is Highlander. This was a Canadian Best Buy and USA Target exclusive releases. This is number 14. There is the title and the back. Taking off the outer sleeve, you can see no design additions. There is the front of the steel and all the colors. Reflections off the sword. There's the back with the iconic quote. And it's, uh, yeah, this is a nice one. Highlander. All right, and now's where it starts to get a little interesting. So this is number 15. This is the Boondock Saints. And this was a Germany Amazon exclusive. Number 15. To get this, you had to order it from Amazon Germany. All of the discs on these are all English friendly. They all have English subs. They all uh, have menus in English. You can find all that information there. The printed language on here is obviously in German, but it is using the classic Mondo artwork for the Boondock Saints. Here is the back. This is a very traditional tattoo style. Love that. This was released on December 9th, 2015. Number 16, this is Labyrinth. This was a Zavi UK exclusive release. There is the number 16 on the spine. This was released on February 8th of 2016. And when you take off the sleeve, you can see no design additions there. But man, is the art on this amazing. And I love this freaking movie. Here is the back. And just... Get off of there. Just really nice. Not necessarily plain, not too crazy, but Labyrinth. And with number 17, we got a lot more mainstream. This is The Avengers. This is, as you can see here, spine number 17. This was a Chinese Blue Fans exclusive release. This was released on August 31st, 2016. And this one also had a variant release that I will show a picture of. Taking off the sleeve here on the front, you can see it's a very different looking steel under that sleeve obviously the design is the same but they've got everything printed there on the front just giving some accents here is the actual steel you can see there's some nice reflections there in the red and here is the back this is a really good one to hold number 18 this one is very common to find because this was a u.s wide release this is ghost in the shell here's the number 18 on the spine and this was released widely in the U.S. on March 14th, 2017. Here is the back. Taking off the shell here, pun intended. You can see only the title there was on there. And man, is there a lot going on on this. 
Uh, this is a, a pretty well-known piece of Mondo art that was placed onto this steelbook, and it is just pretty. Again, there's the spine, number 18, Ghost in the Shell. Number 19, this was a UK-wide release. This is We Are X. This was released on May 22nd, 2017. And taking off the case, you can see it's an outline of the character on the front. And so it really highlights it when it's on there, just marked perfectly. Taking it off, you can see the actual colorway of the reflections and the silver there. And there is the back. All right, now they start to get fun. I love some of these. Number 20, this is The Incredibles. This was a UK Zavi exclusive released on January 22nd, 2018. Here's the number 20. And the back, when you take off the sleeve, you can see no art additions there. But this art style is just amazing. And uh, just a little hint, there are some more Disney ones to come that share a lot of this same style. Number 21, this is one of my favorite Disney films of all time. This is The Jungle Book. This was a UK Zavi exclusive released on February 12th, 2018. There's number 21 and the back, taking off the sleeve. All of the reflections highlighting Shere Khan and Mowgli there. And the back. Just beautiful to behold. Number 22, this is It. This was a European Amazon exclusive. There's the number 22. This was released on December 10th, 2018. Taking off the sleeve, you can see it was just the title on the balloon. And the actual design is all there. Lots of detail on that one. There is the back. Number 23, this was also a European Amazon exclusive. This was released on December 10th, 2018 as well. There's the spine. And this one has the title in the plastic cover. And here is the actual steel book can see the shape in the trees there and then here is the back sort of a plain one kind of hard to recognize artwork number 24 this was an Amazon European exclusive released on December 10th 2018 this is the exorcist there's number 24 it has the extended director's cut and the original theatrical version and there is the back slipping this out of the sleeve you have the title was in silver and that's basically it and then some iconic imagery from the film and the back the next four are all amazon european exclusives released on december 29th 2018 starting with number 25 this is batman versus superman dawn of justice you can see the 25 on the side here is the front and the back, taking off the sleeve, is just the title there, accenting, and uh, some pretty well-known Mondo art. A lot of Mondo work is done on uh, superhero stuff, so whether that is your thing or not, obviously uh, the art is pretty damn good, but unfortunately a lot of those superhero titles are in this collection. Number 26, this is Justice League. There is the spine and the back, taking off the cover, have just that Justice League title. And here you go, with all of the colors reflecting. And the back, with just Batman. Number 27 with some incredible art. This is V for Vendetta. And here is the spine, the back. And taking off the plastic sleeve, you can see the title is in silver, but the detail on this one up close is astonishing. Gotta love that. And number 28 is 300. There is the spine and the back. Taking it out of the sleeve again. Title in silver, 
And here is our cover of the steelbook in the back. All right, this is number 29. This was released as a Zavi UK exclusive on December 10th, 2018. Here is the spine showing number 29 in the back, taking off the sleeve. You can see the artwork a little better. Again, with that uh, Disney art that they used on a couple prior. Number 30 is Frozen. This was released as a Zavi UK exclusive on January 28th, 2019. There's the number 30 in the back, taking it out of the sleeve and seeing it up close. Again, with that common Disney style that they've used for quite a few of these. A lot of these Disney ones that were Zavi UK exclusives, they were showing up in FYEs in the US for some reason. Maybe they did not sell quite as well as they expected, but yeah, they were available over here, and all of the Disney titles are always region-free on Blu-ray. Number 31, one of my favorites, Pinocchio. This was a Zavi UK exclusive released on February 4th, 2019. There is our spine number. And taking off the sleeve, nothing on there. Here is the cover. Lots of reflection on this one. And there's the back. Number 32, Alice in Wonderland. This is a Zavi UK exclusive released on March 4th, 2019. There is our number 32 on the spine. Taking off the sleeve. Again, lots of reflective color on this one. A very colorful film, obviously, so they had a lot to use on this steel. Here is the back. And number 33 may be my favorite of these Disney art styles. This is Sleeping Beauty. This was released as a Zavi UK exclusive on March 18th, 2019. Here is our spine number 33. And let's take a look at this one up close. Some of the reflections going around the fire. But the detail in this, I, I've just always loved this one. Really nice design on that. And then here is the back with all the thorns and the dragon. Number 34 is Wreck-It Ralph. This was a Zavi UK exclusive released on April 1st, 2019. There is our spine number. Taking off the sleeve, here is the front. And the back. Number 35 is Aladdin. This was a Zavi UK exclusive released on April 8th, 2019. There's 35, taking off the sleeve. And another one of these classic Disney styles. Really like this one too. I think it's really well done. Number 36, this is Toy Story. This was a Zavi UK exclusive and this was released May 6th, 2019. This is one of the more common uh disney style of these you can find this a little easier on the second hand market here is the colors man does it look good there's the back buzz lightyear now we go straight from toy story to pet cemetery for number 37 this was a worldwide release this could be bought pretty much anywhere this is also their first 4K title for Mondo X Steelbooks. This has a 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc in it. And you can see they start to use a little more design. They've got the clouds on the front there. And on the Steelbook, this is what we're looking at. Pet Cemetery, really great film. Lots that they could have done. But this Mondo art that they've had is uh, decent for it, yeah. This was released on March 26th, 2019. And after Pet Cemetery, there was a long wait until our next one. That last one was March 26th, and then number 38. This released on March 10th of 2020. This is A Quiet Place, and this was also a worldwide release. Could be bought almost anywhere. This was a 4K disc, and you could see the number 38 there on the spine. Taking off the protective slip here, you can see they had the title on there and 
Man, I love this movie. Love the art they used for this one. Here is the back. The light bulbs. All right, this is where it gets a little odd again. So we had the Avengers before. Now we got the Avengers again, except this time in 4K. This is number 39. There's the spine number. And this was released in France widely and then as an Amazon Germany exclusive. So in two different places. Taking off the protective sleeve, you can see the title there. And then this is the different Mondo art for the first Avengers, as opposed to the one that we got in the first uh, handful of releases at the very beginning. Here's the back with just Iron Man. And like I said, unfortunately, there are a lot of comic book titles left in this series. All right, this is number 40. This is a Zavi UK exclusive released on January 25th, 2021. There is the number 40. And this is where the art starts to get wild on some of these. So first off, lots of accents in this sleeve. Uh, the, the reflecting here is intense, but then the art is also just really well done. Let me get a closer look at this one. This was also a 4K release, if I did not say that. Then number 41, we have Doctor Strange in 4K. There is number 41. This was a Zavi UK exclusive released on February 15th, 2021. Taking off the sleeve again, you can see there was a little more accent on this one than normal. And this is very like comic book pulpy classic style art. Like this one quite a bit. Forty-two is Black Panther 4K. This was a Zavi UK exclusive. This was released on February first of 2021. There's the forty-two. Beautiful steel on this one, and you can see as it separates here, a little more uh, accent being made on this one as well. Lots of gold splattered in there, and we got the title. And then here is the actual steel with all of those lines. Man, again, just really great art on some of these. Number 43 is Captain America, the first Avenger in 4K. This is a Zavi UK exclusive release. There's number 43. Pulling out the sleeve, this is another one where there's a lot of detail, so you can see it separating here. And look at that outline there. Lots of fantastic detail. Here's the steel itself. And the back with the red skull. Okay, so as I box up these last couple, I was trying to pour through my information and realized that number 40 through 43, Guardians, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, and Captain America, the first Avenger 4K, those were all Zavi UK exclusives. They were also French wide releases, and then they were also Germany Amazon exclusives. They just kind of had to put them out in a bunch of different places. Number 44 is Iron Man in 4K. This was a Zavi UK exclusive released on March 1st, 2021. There's 44. Taking off the sleeve again, quite a bit of detail, except a lot of that is on the back and just the title. There you go. And the back of the suit. Number 45 is Thor in 4K. This was a French wide release, Germany Amazon exclusive, and a Zavi UK exclusive. Released December 18th, 2020, May 6th, 2021, and March 29th, 2021, depending on where you were getting it from. There's number 45. Removing this sleeve, you can see there is a lot of detail on this one in the circle and the title. Quite a lot around the constellations and the stars here and the reflections on this one. I mean, there's just so much thought that goes into some of these. It's fantastic. Number 46, this is currently the most common one in the US as you will see, this is Rad. This was released as a Canadian Amazon exclusive and a US wide release. 
both on March 16th, 2021. There's the spine, number 46, taking off the sleeve, removes the title. Some pretty iconic imagery there for Rad and the BMX world. Number 47, this was a French wide release, Germany wide release, Amazon UK Zavi exclusive, released in January and February of 2022. This is Ant-Man on 4K, there's number 47. Taking off the sleeve, you can see the name there. And there we go. Here is the back. Number 48 is super comic booky. This is Iron Man 2 in 4K. This was a French wide release and a Zavi UK exclusive. Released December 10th, 2021 and January 14th, 2022. Depending on where you're getting it from, there's 48. Taking off the sleeve. You can see the title was accented there. Here is the cover itself. Another one of my favorites probably from the entire group. Here is the back. This next one is very aptly numbered. At 49, we have Blade Runner 2049. This is a 4K disc, of course. This was a worldwide release. So it had a lot of different release dates all across the world. Taking off the sleeve, you can see the inner art. There's the 2049 and the back. Number 50, this is Captain America, the Winter Soldier in 4K. This was a Zavi UK exclusive. I believe uh, these are also French wide releases and Germany wide releases. Uh, these all came out in January of 2022 on different dates, depending on where you bought them from. Again, with the reflective title on this one. There you have Captain America and the Winter Soldier, Black Widow, Sam, Falcon, Number 51, maybe the worst movie in this whole lot, Thor The Dark World. This is the same as the last one, Zavi UK exclusive, French and Germany wide releases with different release dates depending on where you bought it from. By the way, these J card type of things on the back, the info cards, they're just glued on there. They can be taken off if needed so that you can just have some better art. Taking off the plastic sleeve on this one, just has the title, but here you go. Better art than the movie deserves, probably. And here is the back. Number 52, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 in 4K. There is the spine number. Again, this is a Zavi UK exclusive, France and Germany wide release. Depending on where you bought it from, they're going to have different dates, reflective colors in the title. And this artwork is busy, but obviously very well done. I certainly can't do art like that. There is the back. And number 53, Avengers Age of Ultron 4K. This was a French wide release, Germany wide release, and Zavi UK exclusive. Different release dates depending on where you bought it from. Reflecting artwork there. And then the actual steel. Number 54 is Avengers Infinity War in 4K. This is a French and Germany wide release, Zavi UK exclusive. Different release dates depending on where you bought it from. You can see the sleeve has the title heightened there and very similar to like the uh, Guardians releases with the artwork. It's clearly the same artist going for a similar tone through all of them. Wanda and Vision on the back of this one. And then currently we are only through number 55 and considering 54 was Infinity War, I'm sure you can guess that 55 is Avengers Endgame in 4K. This is a Zavi UK exclusive France and Germany wide release. There's number 55. Different release dates depending on where you bought them, of course. There's the title, and again, very similar artwork to Infinity War and the Guardians films. They look very good together. So that was number 55, and the last one of these came out in March of 2022. 
and we have 55 releases total so hopefully they keep going with this i wouldn't be surprised if we got the rest of the mcu titles but there's a lot that they could do they have a lot of mondo artwork out there with other titles uh, i hope that we get some more i hope that this continues i i love collecting these if you have any questions on any of these let me know hope you like this otherwise as i always say from one collector to all of you have a good night